Hey guys, welcome to our cabin. We're uh, Jay and Jen. We spent the last three years building this cabin and we like to give you a little tour of it. It's gonna be simple. It's just a nice little cozy cabin tour. All right guys, so here's our tiny cabin. Come on in and check it out. See how you can have everything you need in life and in a tiny space. So we got this mudroom we built this summer so we can keep coats and shoes in here and keep some clutter out of the main part of the cabin. So let's go in and check it out. This was um, a nice little seven by seven mudroom for all the boots and coats and boots and a little like anything extra you need. This is our bench that we built from a wood we milled from the property. We keep extra firewood here so that way if we run out of firewood in the middle of the night, we don't have to go outside. This is our coat rack that we built again using wood from our property that we milled. Now let's Go on inside. All right, guys, here's the inside of our cabin. I'll give you a quick little run around and show you everything that we've done over the last few years. Yep, and how we live comfortably in a little space. Yep. All right, so if you guys can see that we kept this as an open floor plan, uh, that helps the cabin feel much bigger than it really is. Uh, again, it's under 400 square feet. It's only 16 by 24 for the main floor plan. Uh, not only did we leave the floor plan open, but we also built a nice high steep peak to our roof, you know, nice pitch to our roof. What that does is give us like a cathedral like ceiling look and makes it feel much larger in here than it really is. Mm -hmm. So Jen's going to show off her kitchen real quick. We have a ton of videos building this kitchen, each little project. So I'll put some links in the description box below, but Jen will show it to you real quick. This is our kitchen. It's not large by any means, but again, nothing in this cabin is big, but it's nice and open feeling. We've got shelves, side bed shelves, and keeping everything nice and open and flowy. Oh, I got a nice little copper sink here too in my kitchen, which I really like and enjoy. This tiny little kitchen works perfect for us. We've got just the right amount of counter space and storage for the two of us and it works out perfect. Very happy with it. Having a small space forces you to- Be efficient, right? Mm -hmm. So here's our 10 cubic foot uh, apartment size refrigerator and freezer combo. Um, all of our stuff here that you see that runs on electricity is run on a solar system that I built. I'll put some links in the description box below for all our solar videos and all those projects as well. The whole cabin is run on AC power from our solar. Uh, the solar shed converts it over to AC power and then the whole cabin is run just like a typical house. There's no DC current in the cabin. We added lots of windows too to make it seem bigger too because you get more natural light in so that helps I think make it seem bigger because it's not closed up. Every cabin needs a nice cozy fireplace or wood stove so we've got a nice little wood stove over here in the corner. Heats this place up nice and hot right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of tiny cabins you have to make use of space and a lot of that involves typically having a loft. Uh, we put the ceiling a little bit lower over the kitchen area so we could have a stand-up loft in the cabin. What this does is provide us with a lot of storage space. We have a lot of stuff up there that uh, we would otherwise have nowhere to put. And uh, eventually we're gonna organize it a little bit better and have sleeping quarters up mm -hmm. there for guest quarters as well. Yep. Once we uh, realized that we weren't going to be full timing it in that loft ourselves, sleeping up there as sleeping quarters, we added a bedroom. We added an 11 by 12 bedroom on our cabin. Again, by most people's standards, this bedroom's probably not large. Queen size bed. We want to pass through airflow, so we put window on either side. Mm -hmm. That so way. It, it doesn't get too hot in here. Mm -hmm. And it feels, again, more light and open. Yep, because it was too closed up otherwise. The key, I think for me personally, the key, if you're building something tiny, windows. Windows create more space and make it seem more open. Better feel. Yes. 
So originally, guys, we were going to try to incorporate a bathroom into this bedroom space, but once we got the dressers and bed in here, we realized that it would be better to bump off again, and we made a tiny, tiny bathroom. Mm -hmm. It's tiny. kind of like an RV style slash size bathroom. It's actually only five foot by four, four foot. foot. So it's four foot wide, five feet deep. Uh, we fit everything we need in the, into this space. Mm -hmm. Our shower is 36 by 44. So 36 deep, 44 wide. Gives you just enough space to shower in and get clean. Just like an RV, like he said, like some people live in RVs full time. So this is actually a little bit bigger than an RV one and it works out perfect for us. I'm not exactly a small guy and uh, being able to bend over in the shower is pretty useful and helpful and makes it comfortable. So that's why we tried to make the shower a little bit bigger than like a standard 32 by 32 or 36 by 36 stall. That extra eight inches or whatnot is uh makes a huge difference in the shower area i think mm -hmm. so so what else do we got a little rv style toilet and that's just for nighttime bathroom needs outhouse outside and we've got an outhouse video if you want to check that one out and we got a little vanity nice and simple again we don't need a lot of space we get a lot of slack sometimes for having a tiny space of everything but it works out perfect for us. We aren't people that need extravagant big bathrooms or bedrooms. So guys, our tiny bathroom does everything we need it to do. Uh, we are not using the toilet in here full time. We have an outhouse outside. Like Jen said, this is just for nighttime potty. So, so she doesn't have to go outside at night. So overall, our cabin is under 500 square feet. Not too small, it's livable, it's small. Yeah, I don't see any fun in staying in a cabin that is the size of a shed. Um, a lot of people do that. A lot of people have little 12 by 12s or 12 by 16s. Those have their purpose, but if you're going to spend a significant amount of time in your cabin, I would highly recommend making it around this size. Mm -hmm. uh, especially if you have more dogs or kids or anything like that. Uh, even just for the two of us, this is perfect. Uh, I don't feel cramped. I don't feel inconvenienced. I don't feel anything. I don't feel like I should have done anything bigger, to be honest. I think everything's pretty well, well, well-rounded size. Yep. So. If you have any questions about our cabin or anything whatsoever, drop comments below. Uh, the easiest way to get your questions answered though, would be to check out our video links and list on our channel. Uh, we have over 300 videos showing all these projects done. Uh, from start to finish pretty much mm -hmm. so that's the easiest way to answer your questions is to do that lots of different uh, playlists about yeah. each thing so yeah check that out guys how we did it all from start to finish and if you're new here watching us for the first time subscribe and check out the rest of our videos because we try to have fun we try to be realistic and relatable yep we have fun here we're not uh you know a how-to how-to channel but you could see how uh, rookies amateurs do stuff and get stuff done we've never had any experience building so that's kind of a key thing too so just a lot of people said they're inspired by our videos so if you want some motivation and to see how normal people can do stuff even without a lot of experience check us out all right thanks for tuning in guys all right best wishes Bye bye